everyone, I'm Alexa. I'm Mason. And we're with Body Sanctum. Today we're gonna to show you a really easy quad stretch. The quad is this front muscle on the front of your leg, and you use it all the time. You use it with everyday walking, sitting, anytime you crouch down, squatting, or if you're hiking, training, even snow sports, you're constantly engaging your quad. So, I'll have Mason demonstrate. Hold on. So what we have here is that Mason's trying to keep his hips even as possible, and then he's trying to keep this leg, at, he's trying to pull his leg back as far back as he can. So you can see here, his leg's jutting out quite a bit. Mason, your quads are really tired. Yeah, I had a little squat yesterday. <laughs> so the looser that he gets, the more he'll be able to pull that backwards. And the more he pulls that backwards, he's, we're gonna try and keep his hips even and his body straight, perfect. So you can feel that's a little more of an intense stretch. Yeah. Another option that we have is that you can have a friend help you stretch if you feel like that just doesn't feel like enough. So Mason, I'll have you lie down. So you can either use something like a yoga block or something you know big to prop it up. You could use a pillow, some books, or you can use your own leg. I'm just gonna use a yoga block just to help demonstrate. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lift Mason's leg here, and I'm gonna prop the yoga block right underneath it. Mason, does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay, so now that this is propped up, it's helping pull that quad backwards, and then we're just going to start moving this backwards. Mason, just let me know when you feel the stretch. Yeah. Yep, okay. So all I have to do here is just hold it. I'm barely putting any pressure at all because the leg is already leaning backwards so you don't have to hold the weight of it at all. And we wanna make sure that the hips stay even and on the ground. So if you find that the person's hips are starting to lift up a bit, what you can do is you can just put a little bit of pressure on their glute just to pull that hip downwards. Does that feel a little more intense now? Yeah. yeah, perfect. And if they feel like that's too intense, you can even ease back a little bit, just pull that quad backwards a little bit to make that stretch a little less intense. Ideally, if we've got the hips here straight, then you'll be able to get a more intense quad stretch and you'll be able to loosen it up a little bit more effectively. In order for you to get an accurate stretch, you need to hold it roughly 20 to 30 seconds. But if you are going to be doing it before you train, something like a dynamic stretch like 15 seconds is probably better because if you overstretch, what you'll find is you, won't, you might not be able to perform to the extent that you'd like to when you're training. So 15 seconds before and then after you're done training, 20 to 30 seconds. If you found this video is benefit for your quads, or you may have more inquiries, we welcome you guys just pop into the spot anytime. We offer deep tissue massage. And Mason is a qualified remedial therapist. He'll utilize stretches like this during the massage all the time. So hope to see you soon.